And welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. What do I do here? If you don't know, and you're new to the channel, I go to thrift stores. I go to flea markets. I find online shopping. I go to retail stores. I find just about anything that is really cool and toy related out there. And I try to review it here. Actually, I try, but I actually I do review it here on my channel. Now, if you've been following the channel uh, recently, I, uh, a few days ago, actually went to a flea market, which is in uh, New Milford, Connecticut. And it was quite a drive for me to get there. It's called the Elephant's Trunk. And you never know what exactly what you are going to find there. And that's exactly what I did. Now, for anyone who knows me and knows what I do, I do have an eBay store, and usually I'm looking for vintage and retro type t-shirts. We're not going to talk about that today, or we're not going to actually get into what I found. However, I do find, uh, you know, I do find some toys from here, here and there. And that was another thing. So I, I mainly went to the, the flea market um, to find um, some shirts so I can restock up on my eBay store, which people have been buying from. Uh, and you guys have been buying, and what do I do? I recycle that money and I put it back here into the Dark Cosmic Universe. Now you're probably wondering, why the heck is there a Legend of Zelda item looking at me? It's actually a backpack. I'm going to put it with the thrift um, find because actually I got it at Goodwill. Believe it or not, yes, Goodwill. It's like all of a sudden, like I'm in this like Legend of Zelda finding stuff. So really, really quick again. This is not from the, the elephant's trunk that I went to, but if you can see, this one was, uh, nope, here we go, try it again. Uh, let's take a look real quick. There we go, so $5.99, um, I took uh, 25, or no, sorry, 20% 20 off this really cool bag, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, have to get it. Um, actually, I wanted to give it to my son, and he kind of like passed on it, so I'm a huge Zelda fan. If you've checked out uh, my previous videos, I actually did uh, my Zelda collection. So this is going to go in that Zelda collection of mine. Uh, I know my son down the road will be like, hey, Dad, um, can I have that uh, Zelda bag, that really cool one? Again, what a cool find. It's, it's a duffel bag, and I said, you know what, let's put that in there. But anyway, so that was from the Goodwill after. But I was looking for primarily, uh, you know, again, T-shirts, because I, I do that on the... Uh, I did that on the channel. Now I got a little bag in here, so I'm going to move the, the Zelda bag out of the way. But really cool, epic um, Zelda bag. Please comment. Hey, uh, that was a wicked awesome uh, Zelda bag. Uh, but anyway, so um, when I was at the flea market, I decided that I would be looking for, you know, uh, well, shirts, you know, primarily. But I got in this mood. I got to find some toys because, I don't know, you ever, ever get in those moods where you're just like, Today, I want to find a really cool epic toys, you know, a toy score. And um, this one was kind of epic, not 100%. Um, but again, I found some, you know, small stuff. We're going to go into that in a minute. Um, so I kind of actually went through and kind of, you know, kind of separated things from bag to bag to bag. And I decided to, hey, you know, let's do it this way. So some of the stuff is going to be for... Um, for the, dark, for the Dark Cosmic Universe, sorry about that. Um, some of it is just going to be um, to possibly have, maybe give away, uh, maybe sell. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Uh, so we got a lot of, bag of uh, bags here. Uh, of, they're referred to as smalls. Now, I found one vendor that was selling some toys, and he didn't have a whole bunch, but he had like four boxes full of stuff. So, like, um, a couple weeks ago, if you guys checked my video out where I went to that one flea market and I found a boatload of vintage toys and I said, oh, man, talk about epic score. And again, I bagged everything, so I would kind of have an idea of where it was going. Um, in these four boxes, um, they had these really cool, they're like, they look like suction, they are suction cups. Um, they are Disney heads and they have... They're almost like a, a rubbery kind of feel. And going through like these four boxes, you think I was going through like a treasure chest, which it was, of different items. Now these little things itself, um, these will get sold. Um, I'm actually, these are actually the property of Seaside Crafters. If you have not checked their channel out, please do. Um, 
she will be coming up with some new stuff. So again, I'm just going to kind of show you. So we've got Chippendales was in there. Uh, I think I believe it's Winnie the Pooh over here. Uh, we got Eeyore. Just again, I'm just going to go through the bag. Um, we got the Lion King over here. I believe that's Minnie Mouse. Uh, and these are really cool. Again, they had like a ton of these characters uh, from the Lion King. And um, again, little small stuff. It took a while to actually organize and, you know, find all these <clears throat> that were in there. Uh, but anyway, so the guy had asked me, um, how much, you know, do you want to sell? All right, so how much you want for these things? Ah, he goes, well, just, you know, we'll, we'll make me make me an offer later. So again, all this stuff was about 20 bucks. I'm going to hold this bag off over here um, to the side because that's going to be like a big mamma jamma thing. All right, so this was kind of cool. Again, this is kind of toy related. And... Um, I found in, in these boxes, they have these small little characters. Now, again, these are like little elves, little gnomes. Um, this is a, uh, I guess it's like a bunny with a Christmas tree. Again, very tiny. I, I have no idea what these, uh, where they come, come from. Um, so I'm going to be like investigating. I'll probably do like a Google lens um, search, but I found a whole bunch of these things. And I don't know why, but again, just kind of had this whole idea of, you know, checking out what was in this box and there's this bag of like little elves and i'm like oh these are kind of cool it's kind of like you know the elves are kind of like multiplying around here and you know it's it's one of those you know these were really cool again these things are approximately let's take a look at the rule real quick um they are just a little bit like an inch and a half um for these figures kind of really well detailed and again not like i specifically like elves um can i help you no, these are not going to be your new family members. Uh, you want these to be your your family members? Um, okay. Do you remember what happened the last time that you saw a seashell? And if you haven't checked it out, check out the short. Um, seashell decided to uh, give the uh, interrupting elf uh, a taste of her own little medicine. Cool. So our cosmic cat was like really involved. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Sheesh. Okay. All right. So anyway, so found a whole bunch of these. And again, I'll just give it to the camera and uh, you can just kind of see these little characters. You know, again, these little um, what are they, little tchotchke things are, you know, little knickknack or, you know, gotsy little um, little things to uh, have. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, these could be worth some money. I do not know. Um, but as you can see, there's all little elves. These could have been like from the dollar store. Could have been from uh, maybe like the Christmas tree shop. I don't know. And again, you know, it was just these really cool little um, gnomes or little elves. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And again, like uh, this one over here has, you know, could, could have been like, you know, something, um, you know, for Christmas. I, again, I don't know. Just picked them up and I thought they were really cool. Thought I'd be able to show them off, in the, you know, here. All right, so let's go with our first bag over here. And again, this all came from this one haul, so about $20 which I thought was a little, actually 15, because I bought something else in there. And uh, someone's gonna get a uh, really cool Christmas gift and she will not know exactly what it is. And check it out, little uh, uh, keychain Megatron. I thought that was kind of cool. So, you know, again, these are just some little smalls that, you know, happen to be here. And it wasn't like the action figures that I was like looking for, um, but uh, you know, it was just happened to be, you know, it was there. Uh, and again, we have some Playmobil um, figures that happen to be in there. And not like I'm collecting Playmobil figures, but, uh, you know, I just happened to see these. And, you know, like I said, I thought they were really, really um, kind of cool. And so I picked them up. You know, you never know. Um, going else through the bag. Again, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, but, you know, just I found these little things. And it took about, I'm going to say about half an hour, 45 minutes. So I got a little uh, monkey here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Playmobil um, I couldn't find any markings on them. Actually, there are some markings. And let's take a look. I don't know, but it has, the monkey has a, an apron. So, okay. I was like kind of unusual. Thought I would, you know, share it with everyone. And we got, of course, for Shark Week. Oh, Shark Week! And um, my um, condolences to the uh, Paul Rubens family. Uh, you know, Pee Wee Herman passed away. Uh, one of my childhood, uh, you know, characters that uh, I, I enjoyed as an actor, you know, as, as a kid. So um, we lost him, but Pee Wee Herman gave us a lot of really cool, uh, you know, memories and, and you know, funny things. And so thank you, Pee Wee, for everything you did. And I, I, I appreciate that. 
And it was so weird, kind of weird that, you know, I happened to find the, the Pee Wee toy. Uh, well, you know, um, that was from the previous video. All right, so um, here we go. So I found this little guy. I had to put him, put a couple of these together because the arms are missing. Don't know what these are, but I thought it was kind of cool. You know, probably going to go with my Godzilla stuff. And these are, or this one, he's like just a little bit over an inch, uh, thereabouts. And again, it could have been like a, you know, gumball machine candy thing. Uh, did find some vintage. All right, so, and again, I know McDonald's toys may not classify, but Garfield... I was like, oh my gosh, I do remember this. And he came with a skateboard. The skateboard was not in there because he got the pegs. Should be there pegs on the bottom. Yeah, there's a peg um, from to go on there. But again, Garfield, loved it. You know, again, a little bit of vintage in there. So I was like, all right, cool. All right, let's keep going through some more of the bags. I'm going to start putting some stuff away. So hopefully everyone's doing really well. Hopefully your summer's doing really well. How has everyone been doing? And if there's anything here that really like catches your eye, please let me know. Um, do you have any of these items um, in your collection? Um, this is from the Toy Biz line. Um, these are things Mayhem Mutants, again, from the top of my head. Now, it's not the full entire figure, but it is the parts um, to make, you know, the mutant. And I think this was, again, I'm, I'm just, you know, from the top of my head, I think it was Mystique. Or this could have been Wolverine. I, I can't remember which one. Probably Wolverine now, but... You know, I'm looking at uh, some of the you know, indentations here, but again, Toy Biz, and uh, you know, I, I found all parts of the character except the the chest part. But again, you know, cool little knickknack to have, uh, you know, to add. And of course, I can always put these on other characters, which is kind of cool. All right, let's keep going through the bags here. All right, here is the next bag, and again, I just kind of organize these as best as as I could. All right, let's go in here and cool thing i found this cool ninja probably goes on uh like a motorcycle i'm assuming so with the position that he's in and we got some so china over here again this figure i'm gonna take a look real quick so probably if you stood him up he'd probably be like three and three quarter inch uh, but unfortunately he's in a sitting position all right let's keep going um this i know is from imagine next it's one of the uh it's like, um, I think it's like a punching bag or something like that, or it could have been like um, for the police officer, but uh, we got the uh, da, 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 the markings. So we've got some markings here. This is going to try to uh, get this to focus, um, but it's not. But again, pretty cool thing to have. So we got that. All right, going through here. And again, this is like little stuff that I just, you know, happen to find. Um, there were some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I happened to find. Again, if you watched my last video, found some turtle stuff. So we've got some turtle stuff here. Pretty cool. And again, uh, you got the uh, more animated um, turtles. And you got the ones that were really, really serious. And then this I thought was really, really wicked cool. It's some kind of a, maybe a vampire. Not really sure. And it does have some markings. Uh, but I can't see that. But the cool thing, he has like little googly eyes. Kind of like, you know, your uh, Sesame Street kind of characters. This guy is, again, these are all little small characters. So he's approximately just over two inches. So I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Plus he was, you know, something to do with Halloween. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up. Um, from Mega Man. I believe this is Dr. Wily. Uh, again, if I'm incorrect, I do apologize. Um, did not have him. He's another small figure, about two inches. And so I do have some Mega Man stuff. I just got to find it. And I will add that with it. All right, some of the things that were in here. So I got everything here. I'm just trying to go through this. Uh, I want to see it for last, but that's okay. Uh, this guy. I saw this guy here. He's panning for gold. Check this out. I don't know who he is. Again, he's approximately... I know we were like just a little bit over an inch. Got to measure him up here. Um, yeah, so just a little bit over an inch. So I got like a prox prospector Pete. Um, I've got this barrel here just for, you know, like... Whenever I need a little barrel that says, you know, caution, flammable, or, you know, just a little background piece. Now, the cool thing I did find in here, which, again, I was not looking for, and I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Deadpool. Now, I think this is from, and again, I'm not 100% sure, but this might be from uh, the first Deadpool movie. I am not sure. So, guys, you can comment if you want. And I was like, oh, yeah, it was like when uh, Deadpool was uh, on the bridge. 
and he was, you know, reading that little letter, waiting for the bad guys to come along. And I'm like, yeah, I'm picking that up, putting that in there. So again, you know, these little things, all right, you know, kind of just going to add up. Um, this is, again, this is just from one dealer. And the last but not least, bag hair. Again, for 20 bucks. Um, we got Batmite. I think I may have a Batmite figure. Um, uh, and I can't remember if this was DC, this was DC Direct. Uh, but again, you know, you can never, I can add this with the, the Bat figure, Batman figures that I have. I'm not sure if I had a Batman, Batmite in there. So I've got Batmite. Um, as you can see, go, ooh. Um, this was actually the first thing that I did pick up. This was from a vendor I found down there. So this is from Burger King, so from the Kids Club. And I'm just, all of a sudden, I'm finding these Kids Club stuff here. And I'm thinking, again, he's got a little gimmick over here. Um, and I didn't want to break it. So I'm assuming he had like maybe like a ball or something to do that. But I do remember the Kids Club. So this is a vintage toy that I wound up finding. Um, I'm going to say maybe like a basketball. That might have probably gone on here. The basketball was not there. Again, got it for a dollar. So can't complain. All right. So you've seen the stuff in here. We got Tom and, you know, I mean, Jerry from Tom and Jerry. And then I wound up finding in that box. If you guys remember my stuff that, you know, I'm collecting, you know, the, the aliens and the Lennard figures found this guy. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it's kind of cool because I'm going to have an upcoming video. I found uh, the vehicle that it went with and uh, got another character. So I'm going to put him with all the rest of my alien guys. All right, two more things. So a Fisher Price Husky Hero figure, um, which is kind of cool. I don't have them. I'm, all of a sudden, I'm collecting Husky Hero figures because it's, you know, Fisher Price. Uh, and I'm like, you know what, finding them. So I'll probably, you know, put them together. I'll find a spot for them. All right, but last but not least, check this out. In that box was this helmet. Now, I'm not sure if this is um, from Demolition, um, from the vintage line, but this is one of their masks. It's either, um, you know, again, it was Axe Smash, um, but it may be. I, I was looking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I know what that is. So I put that in my little pile over here. So if I ever get any of those characters from the uh, the vintage line, I've got a mask. And they're probably worth a serious bucks because it's not with the figure. But may or may not. But for me, just finding it, it was pretty cool. So that is my haul from that one vendor. Well, actually, a couple of vendors um, over at, um, I think here, blah, blah, blah. All right, so the elephant's trunk. And again, all these really cool figures. Uh, you know, for 20 you know, for 15 bucks. Um, which was your favorite? Please put it in the comments. I got some more stuff coming up. Again, thank goodness I got this character because I actually got the vehicle and it came in the mail. So we're going to do a review with that. Uh, any of these figures, what was your favorite stuff did you find? Did you like the elves? Did you like seeing Deadpool, uh, Batmite, this really cool uh, giggly um, kind of vampire guy? Uh, maybe the ninja guy, who knows? Anyway, so that's my that's the end of that haul. Oh, one more thing I had on here. I found this really cool. Where am I? Um, great. And I just dropped it. Um, I'm going to go over here. Uh, I found this little jar. So, again, you know, you can always have it for a prop um, with all my other stuff. So, yeah, that was it. That was my $15 haul. And I hope you guys liked it. Uh, my name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. Thank you guys so much. We are, I think, two subscribers away from 250. And you know what happens. I give away that alien figure. So the longer we don't add up, we don't get any more people to, uh, you know, subscribe, um, the more I just, I'm holding on to it. And I got some more figures, too, that I'm going to be doing. Um, which was your favorite? Did you have any, any of these toys? Do you guys know what any of these toys are that I was talking about? These little uh, gnome characters. Please comment in the section. Like, subscribe, and... Uh, Get notified when you activate the bell icon here on the YouTube sphere, better known as YouTube. Uh, all right, so anyway, so please check out my Instagram. Check out the eBay store. I have vintage and retro t-shirts. I spent the last like three or four days putting up, uh, I think, like 15 new shirts. So if you're looking for sure vintage shirts, if you're looking for retro shirts to give as a gift, remember I recycle the money here um, when I when they buy uh, when someone buys it. I go and buy some really cool toys to show off on here. And I've got a whole bunch coming. And yes, we'll be making some more videos soon. My name is Amian Savage. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying to the end. And also subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos all over the whole 
internet. Um, I so appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys for you know, just making this channel explode. Uh, my name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. To my cosmic comrades, to my dark cosmic family, to everyone out there on the YouTube sphere, stay cosmically insane, my friends, and stick around. We've got more videos coming up. If you like toys, please hang around here. Uh, check out the shorts because yours truly was talking while our favorite cosmic cat, Seashell, who is not here today, um, was the star, I think uh, two of them. And actually she was talking about some stuff that's coming up, some uh, future um, videos. So if you're kind of curious what's going on here with the channel, uh, I'll be doing some more shorts so you guys can uh, figure out what's going on uh, here and, and uh, things you guys can look forward to. Uh, please leave comments. We'll see you guys next. Uh, we'll see you guys soon on the next video.